Konnichiwa, Mr. Miyagi. I thought I'd try and sneak it in and pretend it was a Japanese phrase. <laughs> now, I've just come back from Japan. Did you know? Well, yes, you did. Right. <laughs> and there's a, we have a Japanese guest in our audience. <laughs> Wait, don't, don't applaud yet. She might be horrible. <laughs> Go check her out. I'll be right over. Okay, can I? <laughs> when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. Uh, Kiko? Kiko. From Yokohama. I was in Yokohama this weekend! Really? Yes! I Did you see my mom? Yes! <laughs> Describe your mom. I might have seen her. She's this tall. Uh -huh. she You're going to have to be more specific, I have to tell you. She has a gray hair. <laughs> yep. <laughs> when did you come to America? Like yesterday. <laughs> really? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hold on a second. Excuse me. I'm pretty bad with the jet lag, but I think this woman is mocking me. <laughs> so, Yokohama, don't do that. No, you stay there. You got some pretty mad TV in Japan, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Like this show in Japan, it would be very sedate. This would be like watching the news, really, wouldn't it? That's right. <laughs> Anyway, good news. We're going to send you to a restaurant. Okay. <laughs> well, you have to, you have to answer a question. <laughs> you have to answer a question, which you, you'll be able to answer. Uh, what restaurant are we going to send her to? Uh, Master's Steakhouse. Master's Steakhouse. Do you, I had Kobe beef at the weekend. You ever had that? No. Are you a vegetarian? Yeah. Ah. Uh. <laughs> well, we'll send her to a different restaurant. Craig's Restaurant. That's a restaurant where many vegetarian options are available. <laughs> All right. Uh, if you can answer this question, who is the current pres pre uh, president of Japan? Prime Minister? Prime Minister of Japan. Who is the current Prime Minister of Japan? Shiranaides. <laughs> Sorry? Shiranaides. That's, that's who it is? <laughs> Yes, yes, it is! Uh, now, hold on a second. Uh, yes, you're going to go to the restaurant. I just have to have a word with someone. Hold on. <coughs> Look, I don't have Google in front of me, so if it's wrong, sashimi. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. Sponsored by Nationwide Insurance. Nationwide is on your side. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson.
that's very good. Thanks, everybody. That was very, very good indeed. You've really convinced me that you mean it, and in no way it was forced out of you by a sweaty, desperate, warm-up comedian. <laughs> I call him a comedian. Yeah, he's not really, not a, really comedian, a comedian. No, he's not he, a comedian. No. He's um, he's a sort of war warm, warm median. Yeah, he's a warm median. He's a, he's a warm, warm median. median. Like, yeah. oh, please be nice to Craig, for my job depends on it. Now. <laughs> I have children, so please laugh. <laughs> and I think that when he does that, he makes me look like I'm a tyrant. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not. I'm as lovely as everyone else on TV. <laughs> I never experience bad moods or grumpiness, do you, Jeff? No, never once, boss. <laughs> We're special on TV people who are different from normal people. We are not grouchy or bad drivers. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Please don't unplug me later. <laughs> Well, if I wasn't going to unplug you later, the only, the only uh, option then is if I... Yeah. Oh, hey. <laughs> Please do that, too. No! <laughs> it is... Uh, it's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs>I'm a little woozy with tiredness because I was in Japan last week. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I went to Japan. <gasps> I, that's what I said when I got there. I was like, whoo, whoo, whoo. Yeah, and people were like, why are you making that noise? I'm like, I've never been to Japan. I'm so jet lagged though, I feel like this is okay. <laughs> How, how long of a flight are we talking about? From it, well, uh, it's coming back. It, the Japan's 16 hours ahead, I think. Anyway, I left on Sunday afternoon, and I got back six hours before I left. Oh, you're like a time lord, man. <laughs> but, Craig, I thought you were just a guy on TV. No. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, look, while I was away, lots of stuff happened. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we talk about it? Ah, come on. No. You watch the World Cup, though? Oh, all the time. Yeah, I see, yeah, I love it. I, see, but it's not, it was not a great day for the, not a great weekend for the American soccer fan. Uh, we're still recovering from our draw with Portugal. Two all, long game, four points in total, and America didn't win. If that doesn't get people in this country to start watching soccer... <laughs> Wait, uh, nothing? We don't get it. We, we, we scored two, they scored two, that's it? I don't care for this game at all. I don't care for this. Anyway, people uh, are very disappointed. I haven't seen this much disappointment since they announced Ben Affleck was paying Batman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which I think is unfair. I think he's going to be good. Yeah, he looks great. He looks great in that suit, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to play People Haven't Been This Disappointed? Yeah, yeah, sure. All right, sure. People, uh, Ben Affleck playing Batman. You do one. Uh, since uh, Justin Bieber avoided jail time. Oh, okay. <laughs> people... <laughs> yeah. A lady up there just went, hee hee hee. <laughs> That's what the whole country was doing that when it looked like he was going to jail. They were like, hee 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 hee. <laughs> people haven't been this disappointed since Honey Boo Boo's family went to a vegan restaurant. That was wow. a very disappointing... Yeah. Yeah. Hotted loud on ding dong. <laughs> People haven't been this disappointed since Bruce Jenner found a wrinkle. <laughs> a wrinkle. I don't even understand why I that. I don't either. All right, yeah. People haven't been this disappointed since Whole Foods in LA ran out of kale. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> what can I eat? If there's no kale, what can I eat? <laughs> It's a very good impression, man. Thanks. It's of very, what? It's very true. Of people in Los Angeles. All right. You know, the, the, the goal was, uh, the game was tied by Portugal's Cristiano Ronaldo, who's the best player in the world. Uh, you know, scoring, defense, passing. He's a total package. You got a picture of him? There you are. Like I say, that, that's the total package. It, yeah, it does make your eyes go like that, doesn't it, Jeff? He doesn't play soccer like that, though. You, you can't play soccer like that. No. You can't. Look, if you run around a, a soccer field like that in your underpants, well, let's just say you, you're not allowed to do that. No. 
<laughs> anyway, the last minute tie puts the US in a tough spot because the next game isn't until Thursday and people in LA have to pretend to care about soccer for another 72 hours. Right. <laughs> like... <laughs> I'm really worried about the game. <laughs> and also, Hove was run out of kale. <laughs> Wait, there's already, you know, conspiracy theories about Thursday's game with Germany, because if both the US and Germany tie, both teams advance to the next round. So maybe they'll just pass the ball around for a while and just be like, here, you'll take it for a little while. <laughs> then like, all right, I'll take it for a like, while. You be the American soccer player, I'll okay, be the German right, soccer right. player. Okay. Yeah, all right. Here's the ball. <laughs> all, right, all right, thanks a lot. I'll just... <laughs> I didn't know Wilfred Brimley was yeah, playing for the American right. soccer team. Yeah, that's right. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Good. Yeah. <laughs> done it then? Yeah, that's it. You, you're done? You finished? Yeah, I, I got nothing more to say. I'm <laughs> woozy with jet lag. Yeah, I understand. I am. I'm feeling... Oh. <laughs> I like when you're like this. You're adorable and malleable. Is that good? No, it's very good for me. So you want me to unplug you later? Please do. <laughs> stupid. Just dumb. This yeah, is dumb. What are we talking? This is stupid. Are, are, you, are you saying this is a dumb show? Yes, I am. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty dumb. I tell you, you know, you want, you want to see some dumb TV, you watch Japanese TV, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. I mean, there's, that makes this show look like, like, 60 minutes or yeah. something. <laughs> it's like, they, I, I mean, they have, I'm telling you, over there, you would be, like, too vanilla. <laughs> They're like, only one dancing horse? This show will be a failure! <laughs> What's the name of our show in Japan? Oh, uh, Super Happy Fun Time Hour with Robot and Old Man. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Great you have the thing? Super Happy Fun Time Hour with Robot and Old Man. Yeah. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Yeah, good one, boss. You really schooled him, man. Yeah. That's unnecessarily supportive. What's going on? Yeah, I'm just, I got a new program. I got new programming. So you're the best. I'm not sure I like this. I like it when you're a bit more sarc... Wait a minute, you're being sarcastic! <laughs> you got me. You got me. <laughs> I see what you did. I see what you did. <laughs> Jeffrey Pearson. <laughs> it's super happy, fantastic tweet mail time. Time to take advice from robot, old man, and horsezilla. <laughs> Lady Jingle, would you? Now get cover and don't look back. Here comes an email and Twitter attack. Giant freaky monsters crushing our city. It's a jumbo lizard wrecking committee. So grab your Reagan and your rocket back. This is from Avery in uh, Williamette in Oregon. Uh, Williamette, of course, is a town named after very, uh, William, yeah. a very small William. Very small William. Yeah, right. that's what you... <coughs> if you have a William that's very small, or let's say a small Willie. Willie, small Willie. Yeah. If you have a very small Willie, you could call it a Williamette. Williamette, that's right. Like, if you don't have a kitchen, you have a kitchenette. That's you don't right. have a William, you have a Williamette. A Williamette, a Williamette. <laughs> I got the jet lag bad. Oh, uh, yeah, it's pretty bad. Uh, 
uh, every says, uh, Craig, what was the strangest thing you saw in Japan? Well, that's hard to... I did go and see the uh, robot restaurant. Have you heard of this? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> robot restaurant where it's, uh, they have robot war. And you go to this restaurant and you uh, watch the show. There's a show, a floor show, and it starts off with about 25 super hot, busty Asian girls playing giant kodo drums. And I thought, well, this is, this is it's a good start, I thought. <laughs> Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Uh, and then, uh -huh, yeah. Uh, they, they do a lot of backwards and forwards, and then robots fight each other. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. Some of those guys are my friends. I know those guys. What, the robots? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, yeah. Do you, you don't know Gundam, do you? Oh, Gundam's my buddy. He's huge. No way! He's huge. I saw yeah. Gundam in Japan! Yeah, he's so tall, man. He's yeah, so tall. About 50 feet tall, 50 this feet robot. tall, yeah. We had a night together once. <laughs> We're not talking a will you met then, no, are we? No, 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 okay. No, no. no. Anyway, that, I saw that, but there were many... I don't like to call things strange in other countries because, you know, it's just, it's different. That's all different. Love different all the people. See what I'm saying? I'm not there to judge, oh, that's strange, or that. I'm there to kind of just, whoa, wow, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> this is from uh, Leanne in West Nyack in New York. You ever been there? West Nyack, yeah, the best of the Nyacks, yep. <laughs> you know, you can keep your East, North, and South Nyacks for... All time. Yes, right. I was going to cuss there, and then I decided, ah, come on. Man, you really are jet-lagged. Uh, Leanne says, Craig, did you eat any squid ink pasta when you were away? Yeah. <laughs> Bless you, you all right? The hell, man? I don't know. You know, I, just the poor lady sneezed. I, I saw her trying to hold it in. You know that kind of... <laughs> in the blue shirt right there. She's spot. You can see her. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Are you all right? You haven't got a cold right? See, now, if this was Japan, you'd probably wear a little mask. Because I, I used to judge people for wearing the mask, but I found out people wear, if they think they've got a cold, they'll wear a mask so that other people don't get it. Isn't that great? It's very polite. That's right very there, polite. At an amazing society. I was, I was just, uh, just blown away. Have you ever been... Uh... Yeah, by, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. By, uh, by Gundam in his Yeah, all right, yeah, all right, yeah. Yeah. Enough, all right. Uh, This is from Asher in Columbia, South Carolina, says, Craig, do you prefer pancakes with or without chocolate chips? Chocolate chips and pancakes? What are you, an Al-Qaeda? <laughs> that is no way to start your day. No, you don't start your day. Chocolate chips are for cookies. Uh, pancakes are for syrup. Yeah. That means you're a liar. You're a liar, sir. <laughs> I think it was a lady. Yeah, okay, uh, fine. <laughs> uh, we're out of time, so I'll just do a couple more. Uh, <laughs> this is from Alan in Duluth in Minnesota who says, uh, Craig, will you uh, already be back in the USA when you read this, or are you checking Twitter on vacation? Oh, no, I checked this one on... What the hell? Uh, <laughs> this is from Jeffrey in Folsom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello, Jeffrey. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you, might, you might want to vet these every now and again. Yeah. Uh, this is from Jacob in Chicago who says, Dear Craig and Jeff, who's your favorite wrestle? What? <laughs> Mine is Roman Reigns, the leader of The Shield. Who's your favorite she wrestle? Favorite wrestle? Who's your he, favorite wrestle? I have to say, he's a weird looking dude in the first place. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't really have a favorite wrestler. I like to, you know. Uh -huh. Jeff, who's your favorite wrestler? Uh, uh, Williamette. Williamette. <laughs> it's a good move. Always a good move. There's no time for this. I've got to go. Who is it? Uh, it's, uh, it's Williamette. How are you? <laughs> I heard you guys talking about me. What's going on? It's you, isn't it, Mary? Yes, you know it is, sonny boy. I told you. No, do not call me you. Bitch, I hate you! <laughs> Konnichiwa. We're right back.
tonight is an Oscar winning actress. Oscar winner, Jeff. Oscar winner. Oscar winner, we're number one. <laughs> Well, well, we're not number one, but well, she's no, no, number, but she one. Was she's number one. She's number one. Yeah. Our latest movie, Tommy, opens on July the 2nd. Take a look at this. Yeah. yeah. Kathy Bates, Yeah, you look sensational. I'm great. I feel sensational. Well, Thank good. You, you should much. do. What were you doing in that club? Were you, I, I did, couldn't quite see what you were setting on fire. What was it? Well, it's a ski -doo. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah, it's a ski -doo that's been damaged during the plot of the movie. Oh. Melissa, Melissa damages the ski -doo. I don't want to give too much away. No, don't give it away. No spoilers. <laughs> And uh, I have to say, my aim was perfect every that, time. That was pretty good, yeah. Have, yeah. You, have you ever Viking burialed anything before? Uh, <laughs> yes, actually. Uh, we did a pilot of Fargo many, many years ago, and we had a Viking burial on an ice lake. Really? Yeah, but the show didn't go. <laughs> it's we on sort of, TV. No, no, it's not the same one. Oh, We okay. sort of had a Viking burial for my mother, which was interesting. Uh oh yeah, she, really? You know, she wanted to be creepy. She is, she is. She's dead. Okay, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and she, um, we, we took, we went to the, the you know, the cremation place, mm -hmm. and we had to read a booklet that says it was just to let us know that cremation was an irreversible process. <laughs> M much like death, in fact. Much yeah, like yeah, yeah. And I don't know why it is, but have you ever noticed that in funeral homes, they always the guys always have a widow's peak? Yeah, it, it became fashionable when the Adams family was on TV. I think. Yeah, somewhere. I don't know. Anyway, he actually, when we were talking during the course of what we were going to do to my mother, he said, um, "You know, this is probably not appropriate, but um, I would really love to have an autographed photo, but 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 not now, later when the smoke clears." Oh. Much funnier it, than your it, monologue. It, it, oh, really? Everything's funnier than my monologue. <laughs> the, the weirdest thing happened at, at, at funerals, my father's funeral. When everyone was terribly sad, he, uh, they had a bagpiper pipe, uh, you know, the cas casket into the funeral home. And uh, the, it was the worst bagpiper I ever heard in my life. <laughs> so it didn't sound like bagpipes at all. It was just like... <laughs> and I was carrying the casket and I could hear my brother on the other side start to laugh. <laughs> Because you're not allowed to laugh, of no, course. No, uh, you no. know, have to, uh, oh, we laughed hysterically that day. We yeah. really did. But listen, I want to tell you something. This is so wild. Oh, what? Oh, it's. I have to tell you this. Don't let me forget those. Things. Okay. So, uh, so I, I had it. Yeah, that's fabulous. <laughs> that's great. You remind me now of Jeffrey Rush. Really? Yeah. Oh. Don't you think he looks like Jeffrey Rush now? Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is good. This is good. Okay, this is good. Okay. This is good. Okay. Uh -huh. This is gonna work. This is gonna work. We're all okay, I have to tell y'all. Good eye. Wait, 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 wait. No, okay, let me do my bit. It's okay, your yeah, show, yeah, you yeah, get yeah, to go yeah, on every right. night. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> for now. Yeah, all right. So um, I had a dream that I was going to be on this show last night. You want to hear the dream? Sure. Well, I mean, sometimes when you're get told a dream, it's really boring. So I'll give you the option. You want to vote whether to hear no, the no, dream No, no, there's or no not. voting here. I said yes, that's it. <laughs> All right, so this is how it started out. I came on, and I was talking like Katherine Hepburn. <laughs> For some reason, I was channeling Katherine Hepburn. <laughs> and I looked out the window, and I saw an ambulance arriving to take me back to the asylum. <laughs> and you said, quick, pretend to be Ringo Starr. <laughs> I looked down and I had 
no rings on, and I couldn't do a Liverpool accent. So I was terrified. And then I looked over and you had lipstick smeared all over your mouth. Are you sure this didn't actually happen on the show? <laughs> This is quite possible. Oh, wait a minute, wait. And then Judge Judy ran out. And she said, get it together. And I woke up. Uh, uh, well. <laughs> I don't, uh, I don't normally go in for dream analysis, but let's, uh, let's get, well, I think probably the, uh, Catherine, oh my, your eyes are very bad, I, you need glasses. My, I've got contacts, do you ever wear contact lenses? Uh, tried, they always fall out. Well, you gotta stick them right on your eye, you don't just, you know. Yes, but when I go to sleep, I wear the ones that you're supposed to keep on all the time, and when I go to sleep, they all, always manage to kind of go like that. Well, you want to get the other ones that you take out at the end of the day, or perhaps you're too lazy to take out your contact lens. You have to oh, go straight to the dreaming. Is that the ones you wear every day? Yeah. I'm the, Those are the cheaper, thicker kind. Yeah, well, I, that's who I am. <laughs> yeah. That's the kind I got. I have the cheaper, thicker option. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, he's learning Japanese. Have you ever been to Japan? I have, it, I have. It's amazing, it's, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. I remember being driven in from the airport, and I, they were two uh, of our handlers sitting in the front, and I was in the back with my husband. And I said, you know, God, it's been a really long flight. I don't think I can do that first interview. And there was this pause in the car, <laughs> and the lady in the front leaned back and said, you will please do the interview. <laughs> I said, okay, sure yeah, yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you probably should have done the interview. And then, you. yeah, and then you know what else happened? What? I think your trip was probably happier than mine. I yeah, I had a great have. time. I loved Did it. Did you love yeah. it? Oh, uh, Did fantastic. you go to Shinjuku? Uh, that was the, oh, the colorful with all the lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to that. Oh, yes, yes, I did. I stayed there, in fact. Uh, that's the area I was in. It's pretty cool. It's, it's a pretty very cool, cool place. yeah. Have you noticed the sushi there is bigger than the sushi anywhere else? <laughs> it is truly, it's bigger, it's bigger. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's bigger. I think they keep that big sushi for themselves. <laughs> I mean, you hear, I mean, you know, you don't like to talk about alcohol, but you always I hear, don't mind. Uh, but you always hear that the Russians keep the best vodka, you know, in Russia. Well, they do. That I do know. Yeah, yeah. I've been to Russia. Real, you're very well traveled. You got to be in my game. In my game, you got to be well traveled. That's what the folks want. <laughs> We're going to take a break. We'll be right back with Kylie okay. Grace. It's from the, uh, welcome back everybody, I'm Hi. Face. we're talking so, about my snake mug, because you wanted one, yeah, right? Yeah, I want a snake it's mug. It's from the Albuquerque Rattlesnake Museum. I'm going to go there, I'm going to hit the road. What? I'm hitting the road on Thursday, I'm heading to New Orleans for American Horror Story, season four. Really? That's one thing. Wait, wait, uh, wait, 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 but this is how busy I am for an old broad. Okay, so I'm here to plug Tammy with Melissa McCarthy, and it was actually, it was supposed to be the thing to segue from the dream, because her husband, Ben, who wrote and directed the movie, had a dream about the movie, and then he wrote it. So, come and see the movie. Yeah, it yeah, opens right, on yeah, yeah. July 4th. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, excuse me just a second. Excuse me. Don't applaud just because someone asked you to go and see a movie. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, if it's me, they do. Oh, okay. And then, so what, yeah, and then, then what are you gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna go, and I can't tell you what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna be in New Orleans, who I love, love, love New Orleans, and I'm gonna be there for six and a half months, and I'm gonna be in... Well, you're doing American Horror Story, you just told us. 
Yeah, well, why'd you ask me what I was gonna do? Well, I thought you were gonna do something on the way to, uh, uh, to, to New Orleans, because you said well, you were hitting the road, yeah. and I thought, well... Uh, what, what, yeah, well, I'm gonna Are take... you exercising your foot while you're yeah. talking to me? Well, I, I'm gonna take a couple of fellows with me, so that's not for publication. Okay, that's fair enough. <laughs> No, actually, they're my, my, my buddies, my, my boys that oh, I... Oh, yeah? Uh, one's from New York, one's from Paris. Really? Is yeah. this, you, make, you should make a documentary of this. We are, we are. We actually got a camera. I won't tell no you what way. Kind of it is. Because you can't say, you know, brands and all that stuff. Right. We got a camera. We're going to do a movie camera. Good on for you. Yeah. Uh, well, go to the Albuquerque Rattlesnake Museum and get yourself a snake So mug. you're not going to give me I will give you a snake mug if you need one, but I, I, all I'm saying is... It's the Albuquerque Snake Museum, and there are live snakes in there? Yeah. Have you been there? Many times. It's what it's my uh, go-to snake liar. visit. Liar. Uh, liar, liar. I'm not a liar. I've been liar. there. I, I've been there, and uh, you know, I. <laughs> I so you're just a snake. <laughs> I'm more of a snakeette, but I. <laughs> Um, no, I, I, I went into, I was on a road trip and I went to buy some turquoise, as you do in Albuquerque, and I saw the Rattlesnake Museum and I thought, a museum? <laughs> It'll be the history of rattlesnakes. <laughs> and I went in and it, it's just a, a bunch of fish tanks with rattlesnakes in them and it's fascinating. Well, I'm going to stop right there. Well, you should. <laughs> You should. Uh, have you been to Albuquerque before? Yes, many, many times. When I was a kid, we used to drive out uh, across on Route 66 from Memphis right. to L.A. to visit my grandmother and my and my aunt. So we hit Flagstaff, Albuquerque, you know, you name it. We, we hit all those. Uh, you like that? You like doing the old road trips? Yeah, I have an RV. You do not. I have a three-axle uh, three Class A diesel pusher 360 Cummins engine. Oh, all right. Yeah. Do you stop at the uh, you stop at the RV parks and uh, meet yeah. with the folks? Well, if they're fancy enough, yeah. <laughs> or sometimes we'll just pull into a parking lot at a big old mall, and pop out and just you know stay there all night. Describe for me a fancy RV park. <laughs> How much time have you got? About it's, it's, four minutes and 13 <laughs> seconds, so let's go. It's the boomer thing to do. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. They've got resorts. They've got, you know, places where you can hook up and stay and, yeah. You mean hook up like sexy time hook up? Well, I'm sure you do all right. Uh, you're starting to talk like Catherine Hepburn again. <laughs> These fabulous, they have all ah. these fabulous resorts all over the country. I, no, it's a, it's a place for uh, mostly uh, nudists and swingers, though, isn't it? That's what people do go there for. They go Maybe there. Maybe in your home country. <laughs> I think you got the wrong country for. <laughs> but I don't think anyone in Scotland has taken their coat off in 20 years. <laughs> Nudist? You don't, I, I've never seen a nudist in Scotland. Have you been to Scotland? No, no, I haven't been to Scotland. I've heard it's quite beautiful. It's a very beautiful place, yeah. Yes. No, very, very nice, but not big for nudism. <laughs> you want to get to somewhere warmer for I don't want to be nude in front of anybody. <laughs> well, then why did you buy an RV? Because <laughs> you're got to be. If you're traveling across the country getting changed in an RV, they're going to see your biscuits right there, lady. <laughs> well, that is true. I give up. I give up. Uncle. Uncle. <laughs> All right. So, uh, American Horror Story, that would be good. Though. That's a good show. Yeah, there, this year it? it's going to be called Freak Show. So it's circus themed. No, it's not circus. It's not carnival. It's a freak show. Well, what's the... What? It's a freak show. <laughs> I'm going to be a freak. It'll never work. <laughs> it's quite dark, though. Do you do you tend towards that kind of entertainment? Uh, the dark kind of like if, if your own personal watching. Do you do that? Because I just watch cartoons. You know. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> no, you should watch some of these uh, cartoons. They're making it. They're very dark and, and weird. Yeah, you, you, really? you have, yeah. You ever seen Adventure Time on the cartoon? That's a great show. Really? Yeah, let's look see. Really? Yeah. Really, it's 
it's dark and scary. It's it, it's funny, but it's got some very dark things going on, and it's very weird. And they've got a, a, a happy horse unicorn thing called James Baxter that make when people see it, the, the horse goes, James Baxter, and then everyone's happy. <laughs> I think they got the idea from here, actually. <laughs> but no, it's a great show. You, I'm, I'm very into all that. And animation, because I was in Japan, I'm all about it now. Yeah, I, I'm not crazy about animation. I love horror. I love thrillers. I loved Prisoners. I loved that movie. I thought it was fabulous. What about the, uh, do you read crime books? Do you read hard? Yeah, yeah me too. True crime. True I crime, like yeah. True crime, true I do. Crime. I usually go for crime fiction, but true crime. Oh, no, I like true crime. But then you run out. Yeah, because... You know, <laughs> there's only so many serial killers. Have you noticed that? Yeah, well, I don't think anyone's really complained about it until this point, though. No. Oh, if only there were more grisly crimes to read about. Yeah. So, you know, it's hard. I, you know, something about that, that... What is that horse's name? Secretariat. Secretariat. Was, was Secretariat always on the show? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah I think so, yeah, yeah. Okay, but why is Secretariat wearing Tammy Faye blue eyeshadow. Cause, uh, because Secretariat likes to wear Tammy <laughs> Faye blue eyeshadow. And we're, last time I checked, we were in the United States of America where <laughs> Secretariat can wear Tammy Faye blue eyeshadow. <laughs> Are you all right? Did yeah, you yeah, yeah, I just spilled my water. Whoa, you think you're one of them? One of them RV wet t-shirt competitions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kathy, there never seems to be enough time to talk to you. Uh, you're going to have to come back more often because we're out of time now. Okay. All right. <laughs> do you want to do it? Well, oh, she, uh, uh, she's playing you like a violin. <laughs> she's an Oscar winning actress. She's manipulating you. <laughs> <laughs> Do Jeffrey Rush one more time. All right, okay. give me your glasses all right, then, all right? All right. All right. Okay, one more time. One more. Hello. <laughs> My work on this planet is done. You they told done me to go and well. hug Jeff, and now I can leave. Why the hell are you talking like that? <laughs> hey, it's a change from talking like Catherine Hepburn, yeah. don't you agree? Yeah. <laughs> Kathy, you were such a great guest, we've decided to honor you with the highest honor available on this show, and indeed, on television itself. <laughs> oh, yes, there's the Emmys, there's the Peabody Awards, there's uh, some other crap, but... Uh, <laughs> But the highest award available for anyone in television is the coveted, and I'm sure there'll be angelic voices when this is uncovered, the coveted snake mug from the Albuquerque. <laughs> No, 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 you have to make an acceptance speech. Okay. Yeah. Well, first, I'd like to say... <laughs> I've just noticed that one of my fangs is broken. That's the special kind. <laughs> but I'll take it anyway I can get it. I heard that about you, Kathy. <laughs> Thank you so much. Kathy Bates!